Hello, it's Kate from Ink Stamp Share Dot Ink. I've got a thank you card I wanted to show you today. Um, I've made it with some of the new products from the brand new Stampin' Up catalogue that's coming out uh, shortly um, on the 1st of June. And um, I've used some of the beautiful daisy uh, paper that's coming out. There's a whole suite of products. And the daisy designer series paper is just one of those. Um, it's really beautiful. It's got lots of papers in it and uh, it's got a big daisy image in the stamp set that goes with it and a matching punch, um, which is absolutely brilliant because we all love punches because they're so easy to use and quick to do. So I thought I'd show you how to do that and I've made it as a thank you card. Um, so it just says thank you and uh, for your kindness and I've stamped the daisy inside. Um, yeah, I've picked out the colours in the paper. So we've got some pool party here. So I've done some leaves and this is dapper denim. Um, it's quite pale, so I've stamped it off to match it with the uh, daisy and I've got the daffodil delight in the middle. So yeah, I'll show you how we're gonna make this card. Okay, so, oh, one thing I didn't mention is that I've used the new in color here. This is powder pink, this really pretty pink and uh, I've used it as the base of my card and my matching ink as well. Okay, so here is my card base. It's um, a piece of A4 card and I've cut it in half at 10.5 centimetres and I've scored it at 14.8 to make my card base. I'll put all these measurements on my blog so if you want to recreate it, hop over there and they'll all be there. And um, I have put my insert for inside my card and I've just made it half a centimetre smaller all the way around. So yeah, those measurements will be on the blog. So I'll just pop that one out of the way. Um, now, my piece of designer series paper I've put on the front, I've cut it to make a nice um, border down the side. So yeah, I've put that slightly smaller but the same length all the way down. And then I've cut up this particular piece of the paper. The other side is really beautiful as well, it's got daisies all over it. So I have cut another strip um, to go on either side. and. Um, I've just cut an inch strip off. I mean, you can make it as narrow as you like uh, to fit the same length as your main panel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them up simply like that. So you get a nice daisy edge down the side. So I'll, I'll do that first. Right, now is my snail. Here it is. Now I think I'm gonna use snail instead of Tombow. So I'm just gonna go for it and hope for the best. And I'm just going to eyeball how I'd like it to go. Just to leave a little edge down the side there. And then I'll do the same on this one. slightly too, too long at the top. I'll just give it a trim. Just like an nth of a millimetre. There we are, but it would have bothered me. There, so that's that. So then you can decide which way up you want your paper to go. There you go, and I can actually stick that down straight away. Yeah, there's no measuring, just pop it down with an equal border on either side of the powder pink card. So you can see the nice colour showing through. There we go, so that's that bit done. And then the fun bit is the daisy. So I've got a piece of um, Whistler White here that I'm going to put my daisies on. I needed a decent enough size. Um, and the stamp set is here, I'll show you what the images are. So this is the big one that we're going to use and the thank you. And we're also going to use these leaves here and it's called Daisy Delight. Okay, now Dapper Denim is really quite a strong colour. So I've stamped it off and I've stamped it off twice to make it pale like it is in the paper. So here's my well used already Daisy. And I'm just going to ink it up and stamp it off twice before I stamp it onto my card. My Whisper White. There we go. And then you just need to get your daisy punch upside down so you can see 
what you're punching out and line it up. There we go. Good squeeze. There it pops. I'm going to repeat that. Now, somebody gave me a good tip about getting these out because all these little apertures mean it can sometimes get stuck. Somebody said put another piece of card stock in with it and it slides and it works. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm easily pleased. Okay, so, well, it saves it ripping and getting caught in the punch, doesn't it? So I'm going to do it again. Stamp it off twice and then onto the card. And I've got my stamping scrub there. I'll just pop that on there and punch. Here we go. It's a quick and easy card to make this one. It's a lot of layering and just putting elements together. Just make sure I've got my petals lined up. There we go. That one came out this time. There. Put the patch out of the way. So now I've got my daisy. And I'm going to use the centre of the daisy. Stamp and stamp it into Hadil Delight. I'm going to put my blue away. It's very inky. There we go. So, Daffodil Delight. Love this yellow. It's so fresh in spring. Love it. I don't need to put it on the bottom, but I will. I like doing it. <laughs> oh dear. Let's put the Daffodil Delight away. There we go. Now, I can um, stick these together now. So, I'm just going to kind of slightly curl the petals with my fingers. Yeah, and then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use my Tombow glue that I had here to uh, stick them together. So just pop a little tiny bit on there. And uh, line them up however you'd like them to look. Just opposite each other so that you get a full flower. I've made some cards recently with this Daisy Punch where I've done sort of four or five layers and they look really lovely to have a great big full flower as well. Okay, so that's going to pop over there. Now I've got another couple more pieces too. I have cut um, a piece, a scrap of Whisper White to eight uh, centimetres long and ooh, I think it's 2.5 centimetres wide and a matching piece of the paper that we're using just to scrap. And I'm going to stamp my thank you on there. And I'm going to use the same colour as is the base of the card stock. And that's this brand new paper pink colour, which is really pretty. Right. Okay. Now I am going to make a banner out of it. So I need my thank you to be further over this side than anywhere. Although it does, it is quite a small fit way I've cut it. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and then I'll get my banner punch. Triple banner punch, this is really brilliant. So you can make your own banner by cutting down the middle and to the sides, but this makes life so easy. So again, just pop it in upside down. You can see exactly where you're punching. You just do the end and you've got your banner. Perfect every time, love it. And I'm gonna do the same with my little piece of DSP. So you get two little banners, there we are. That one out of the way and then I have left to do the leaves it's a little bit of fussy cutting for the leaves so I'll take my scrap of whisper white and I'm going to mount my leaves up um, I think I'm not sure which way around I'll do it. I think I'll do it's a two-step stamp so I think I'll do the solid infill bit first and I'm going to use pool party, which is a funny colour for the leaves, but it's echoed in the papers, so, and it looks really nice once it's done. So I'm just going to do two of those. One, and I might do one for spare because I'm not so great at lining them up all the time. User error, I have to say. Not the stamp, it's me. So then I'm just going to line up the outline of the leaf. I don't want to get my head in it. In the, in the film. 
Not too bad. Could be worse. I think they will do, those two. So let's put that one away as well. I'm literally going to quickly fussy cut them out. Not too accurately. It is a handmade card after all. So, you know, I'm not going to completely stress over it. It's kind of like paper crafting. It's quite a relaxing activity. It's great for mindfulness and well-being. There we go. Lots of people do it to relax. I'm leaving a tiny little bit of white edge around. Just a little bit. The stamping up little snips, they make it so easy to do. Like right, this one. Let's go for the other one. So if you can hear that, it sounds like somebody's mowing their lawn outside my window, which is fine. It means the summer's here, but um, it also reminds me that I need to do my own. <laughs> right. Goodness, I'm very quiet. Sorry, there you go. That's what happens when you concentrate. Right, I've done those. So that's all the elements we need to our card. So I'm going to put them together now. First of all, I'm going to put my thank you and my little banner together. Like this. I think I'm going to do it that way so I see more of the daisy. So um, I think I'll use snail. Um, yeah. Just a little bit. Now, when you put your offset, your banner, you really want your thank you to be the bit that's straight on the card. So it's always worth kind of lining it up, if that makes sense at all. Not sure if it does. <laughs> there we go. I think that's pretty much it. Nearly there. Bit more down. I do fiddle faddle around, don't I? Yeah, that will do it. That will do it nicely. Um, I'm going to put that on dimensionals, so some sticky foam pads need to go here. And I have them right in front of me. Yeah, there they are. I'm going to put three on for luck. And then our flower goes on. Just a quick thank you card. Perfect. And uh, I shall raise the flare up on our dimensional too. I wonder if I should put that a bit further up. Looks a bit far down. See, I said I fiddle faddled too much, didn't I? There we go. And so let's put our flower on. Just one there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then on the inside, we're going to put our sentiment. So thank you. And I'm, I'm going to put for your kindness in here in the same colour as the card, so that will be powder pink. And then I'm going to stamp the daisy as well. This looks quite pretty. Here we go, here's the powder pink. For your kindness. Lovely, and then I am going to do more daisy. 
still got to stick my leaves on. I nearly forgot about those ones. I better not do that. Right, this is the interesting part because uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to line it up very well. See if I can get it how I got it the first time. Okay, so stamp it off twice on the dapper denim. Pop it on. And I'm going to try and line this up. So wish me luck. And hopefully you can't see my head sticking out in a shot. Yay! <laughs> Don't you just love it when it goes to plan? Right, shut this one up and get the yellow one out. Keep getting shot on my arm. So sorry. Right, here we go. You should be able to see what I'm doing as well. So pop that one in there. Actually, I came off that so I can just go back on that. Excellent. And pop that in. I just get some snail. I love this stuff. Oops. It's really good. Okay, so I'll just pop this in. If I can get it to go in. There we go. Thank you for your kindness. And we'll pop our leaves in. And I just glued those down flat. I didn't pop them up on dimensionals at all. So a bit on there. A bit of multi-purpose glue on there and there. And let's just pop them in. Just adds a bit of coordination. And picks out the colours, I think. There we go, there's our finished card. Hope you like it. That's the first one and the second one. Slightly different, but pretty much the same. So as I said, I'll put all the materials and the dimensions of the card um, on the pattern paper on my blog at inkstampshare.ink. If you would like to browse any of the products um, from Stampin' Up, you can go to my online shop. That's katebolt.stampinup.net and have a look there. The retiring list is there with lots of goodies on there and on the 1st of June you'll be able to order any of these products also. Um, my catalogues are going out in the post shortly as well. So if you'd like a copy of the new brand new Stampin' Up catalogue to have a look through, just get in contact with me if you go to my webpage. Thanks for stopping by.